Hi guys, I'm Rav Holly. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Uh, today I'm going to be giving you the truth and the, uh, my honest opinion on buying social media followers for your Twitter account, for your Instagram, even your Facebook likes. Uh, I have some experience with it, so I was going to give. I'm going to give you the lowdown. Um, if you caught my podcast last week, then you know that I was talking about building your social media platform and. Uh, I got a couple of questions from people uh, on this topic, so I guess I missed it in the podcast, so I should address it. So I figured I would make this video and address it for you guys. Uh, and is it worth it? Is it worth the money to buy social media followers, to buy Twitter followers, to buy Instagram followers or Facebook likes? I'm going to give you my experience and what I did uh, a couple of years ago when it was getting really popular. A lot of the celebrities and stuff were buying in, uh, Twitter followers it, where is where it started. Uh, I actually purchased myself for thirty nine ninety nine. I purchased 10,000 Twitter followers. My Twitter account has been up around 38 to 42,000 followers now for the last few years. And I, my goal was always to get it to 50,000. And I've just not been able to get it there. So uh, I gave up. And when the Twitter follower thing, purchase thing, I was just like, oh, screw it. I'll just buy the 10,000 and I'll be there. And I'll have met my goal. So. I paid thirty nine ninety nine for a company that sent me an advertisement, and uh, I got my ten thousand followers, which put me up around fifty two thousand followers. And I was stoked. Originally, I was stoked, uh, but the problem was, and here's the drawback. The big drawback is. None of those accounts are usually real. They're usually fake accounts that these people create. They create thousands of fake accounts, just and all it does is inflate your number on your page. Uh, if you have like maybe 300 people following you and you're supposed to be a legitimate band or, uh, you're supposed to be pretty popular and you're out at a, at a, uh, you're out at a networking event and you're telling people about yourself and tell them to follow you and, and they go home and they look you up on Twitter and you have like 300 followers. You don't look very convincing or very legit. So they're purchasing, uh, <clears throat> purchasing Twitter followers. It's going to inflate your number, so that's going to look appealing to people when they when they look you up on Twitter. Uh, that's the only benefit I can see to it. And here is again the drawback to that: because those accounts are fake accounts, they're not real people. Uh, Twitter monitors those things like that, and eventually they will find these fake accounts. And when they find these fake accounts, they will kill these accounts. So what's going to happen is you're going to pay thirty nine ninety nine for ten thousand or how many ever followers you want to pay for. You can get a hundred. You can pay a hundred dollars for like a hundred thousand or whatever. But the problem is, is since they're fake and Twitter finds them and kills those accounts, your number is going to deflate back to what it was before you bought the Twitter followers. I can tell you, when I paid for the Twitter followers, mine started diminishing immediately within like the first week I started losing 50 100 300 I came in with time 1500 of them was gone and then like 3000 I was like whoa so within like a couple of weeks I'd already lost about gosh probably 2000 of the original so I actually emailed the people that I bought the Twitter followers from I'm like hey what's going on here because this was before I even knew that knew exactly how this worked. So I emailed them like, Hey, I paid you guys like thirty nine ninety nine, and all of my followers are disappearing. Didn't hear a word back. They were on to the next, the next victim. So I learned really quick that you can buy those followers, but you're not going to get to keep them. So I would suggest just saving your money and building your social media platform organically. Uh, you know, there are some companies out there that, that offer legit actual real people that follow you, but that's really expensive. You're paying like thirty nine ninety nine for a hundred legitimate people to follow you when you can get out there and work your social media platform and get people to follow you legitimately and try to get people in your own genre that you can actually interact with, because that's what makes Twitter fun is it's when people, uh, that you can actually see their tweets and, and interact with them and retweet their stuff and, you know, vice versa, they do the same for you. So, uh, you know, and I know on Facebook, like you can, 
you know, there's some companies out there that sell real likes, you know, they tell you it's real likes, it's real people. Be careful with that as well, because I know a lot of these companies that do that, they sell you really people that they're real, they have a real Facebook account. It's not bots like Instagram and Twitter. It's real people that do have real accounts, but the problem is, is a lot of times these real accounts are of people that do not reside in this country, the United States. They're usually in Indonesia, uh, India, or China. So when they start posting stuff on your business page, because this is what where you buy the likes is on your business page uh, or your fan page. And when they start posting stuff on there, it's going to be in Arabic or Chinese or some language you don't understand. So, you know, that does you no good either because you're going to be erasing comments all the time. So I wouldn't suggest buying likes for your Facebook page either. There might be something more legit out there now than there was when I did it a couple years ago, but I really haven't seen it. So what I suggest is you know working hard and uh, and that's what it takes to build your social media if you want to be good at social media and build it it takes working hard or hiring a social media guru that can build it for you through a marketing program so and you know with twitter and facebook you can do the advertising now i haven't done it on twitter i've done it on facebook for my uh, fan page and i've spent I don't know, probably a hundred bucks and didn't get hardly any new fans at all. So that advertising to me is worthless. So I hope this answered some of your questions. Uh, I hope you're watching my podcast or watching. I hope you're listening to my podcast uh, on Thursdays at 3 p.m. It used to be at 12, but we've moved it back to 3 p.m. Uh, it's images, everything. Uh, it's available for download on iTunes and Stitcher radio and a uh, new episode every Thursday. So uh, tune in and enjoy the show. And uh, we'll, we'll see you on the other side or see you in the next video. Have a great day, guys.